It looks like um, like coral. It looks like bits of coral. Oh, that looks great. That looks really good. Okay. Let's go for like some of these little bushy things here too. like an under the sea theme, right? Do, 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 do. Ba -da 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 you know what else I think I need to up my game on? I think my cues need to be a bit more interesting. Like maybe have them like rise up and like like little bridges and stuff. Like have like little bridges going over a stream or something. Like it would have been cool to maybe have some water in here too. It's too late now, but I'm just thinking, like, for next time. No? Yes, do that. Not using the lily pads. The shark doesn't really fit. I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool. I kind of like it. I think it looks neat. No, I'm going to keep it. I like it. I like the, I like the old... The old shark. I think that looks good. Okay, all scenery thing pirate. Okay, so we're gonna need to have a couple of bits and pieces in here too. Um, like some of these little barrels and stuff would be nice. Just to make it look more. Look at all the people come in here now to ride on this ride. They love it. And who can blame them? It's a great ride. It's one of the best. It's one of the best rides that we've got. Also, worth noting, it's one of the only rides that we have. One of the only rides that we have in this place. Okay, look, we can have a lamp there. That's pretty good. Um, we can also separate this out with some wood. We don't want kids, we don't want the kids to get in here and shit it all up though, right? We don't want them shitting up the scenery. Oh, that looks great. Okay, perfect. All right, what else can we shove in here? Some more little barrels? Sure, why not? We're gonna have, need a couple of like torches in here too, I think. And then we're gonna have to gussy up the ground a little bit. Do we want pirates in here? Probably not, right? We can have a boat, though. We can have a rowboat. Why not? He's looking for the right time to get in there and steal all the treasure. That's the lore behind that one. Okay, that's the lore behind that part. Oh my god, this fits like a glove don't shove. That looks great. I'm liking this already, guys. I think this looks fantastic. I hope you agree. I hope that you guys are in full agreement on this. I don't like that that goes, like, onto the... And then it's not straight either, okay? I just don't like it at all. Good. What else can we put in here? There's so many props to choose from. 
But at the same time, I feel like I'm really limited by props now because I've just used all of these so many times. You know what I mean? I've used them all so many times now. It almost feels like there's not enough props. size of this screen that's huge <laughs> I just want to see what like a what what like a, one of the commercials looks like on a massive screen like that so if we put a movie Have a chief beef? I don't think we even have a chief beef. We do have a gulp beef. Okay, let's advertise gulpy. Oh my god, this fucking game is incredible, isn't it? It's so good! It's okay for the customers to get annoyed, but it's not okay for me to get annoyed by the stuff. That's the only thing I'd say. Okay, I think I want a line to surface back on. It's so fucking loud over here, isn't it? It's like an assault on the senses. Insanity is broken down. Oh, you know what? Now that we've got this in here, though, I don't know if we need insanity anymore. Going nuts yet? Is this driving you crazy? I apologize if it is. Oh, you know what's really nice actually? Look at these buildings, uh, decorations, lights. Oh, maybe it's not the decorate. All oh, lights. Where are the lights at? All the lights. Oh, it's because it's a lamp. It's because it's a lamp. 
These little lamps are, are kind of nice too. Uh, which one was it? It's like an oil lamp. It's not in here though. I don't know where it is. There's these things that make for the underwater, which is pretty good. That's like for castles and stuff, I guess, right? Do 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 do. There's there's oil lamps in here somewhere, and they look great. I added some to uh, some of the pirate scenes, but I'm not sure where they are now. Oil. Oil. You gotta filter it out. Aha! Look at these. Look at these little bad boys. They look great. They do some good light as well. It's nice. Okay, we'll add a couple of these in here too. Do 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 do. Gold piece. Oh my god, the gulpy. <laughs> we might have to remove that, it's driving me nuts. I don't know how many times I can listen to it realistically, guys. It's driving me crazy. This whole area is just too loud. It's gotta be exciting for the kids though, right? All the kids are gonna wanna go on this one. Gulpy! Maybe I can mute it? It's not realistic though, we have to keep it. Gotta keep the theme, gotta keep the theme going, baby. Go pee! I think it broke. No, it didn't. <laughs> Just break. Break down for Christ's sake. Oh, look at these flowers. They look nice. I like the flowers on the edge here. Okay, hang on a second. I gotta get in here too, and I gotta paint this. I gotta put some leaves down here to make it look a little bit better too. Okay, good. Wow, there's a lot of people trying to ride on this ride right now. so loud over there, isn't it? Let's just have a little break. Whew. Please end my suffering. Terps is here in the office. Why are you never leaving your house to say hi? Oh yeah, no, Terps is there. He's going to be there tomorrow too, right? He's meeting with you guys, Fromey? Yeah. Go pee. Yeah, he's... Um, so there's no dad decks tomorrow because Terps is in uh, London visiting Twitch uh, tomorrow. And today, apparently. I didn't know he was there today, actually, Fromey, but... Say hi for me. Say hi to a guy I talk to pretty much every day for me, please. That would be great. Okay, hang on a sec. We're back here. It's a sensory overload, I am aware, but... Can't get 
Okay. Oh god, I like it animated, but man, I don't like the sound. Maybe I'm showing my age a bit here, I don't know. It's really, really annoying. Who agrees? Good. Alright, fine, I'll put it back. Is a pirate battle. Where was this before? There's a oh, that's way better. There there was a pirate battle all along. Okay, we're gonna show the scene of a pirate battle instead because holy crap that's the worst listening to Gulpi over and over and over again I left like this awkward strip here, which is not the best. It's an awkward one. Pirate. Where's the little where's the little buckets? Let's put some little buckets over here. like on the side as well that's kind of cool. I like that I feel like we need to put some stuff in the middle here too underneath this psychola is broken down ah look it we've got all of this research done now too iron horse hop the gaps Excelente. Monsieur Frit. Okay, that sounds good. What's this one? A cleaner, brighter future. That's got to be the monorail, right? Monorail. Oh my god, look, listen how quiet it is in here. That's incredible. It's actually quiet for once. Okay, let's make the most of this. Let's make the most of this while we can. Before all hell breaks loose once again. Oh my god.
<coughs> looking good? Is it looking better? We need more rides. So much room for activities. Yeah, I know. I've left a lot of room for activities. I think this is looking great, guys. I think this whole area just looks fucking fantastic. Just needs like a, like a couple more bits and pieces, like some more bushes and stuff, and then we're gonna fucking laugh. Yeah? There's a couple little gaps here, too. I can hear the bubbles. I can hear the bubbles bubbling. Scenery. What other bushes are there? There's this green leafy bush. Kind of breaks out, though. There's this bad boy. Kind of breaks out, too. I don't mind, like, a couple of little leaves breaking out, though. That's fine. And then there's this bad boy, too. I think the colors of these are all different because of the lighting in here. How's that look? That looks fucking great. No? Are we happy with that? My park is eco-friendly, is it? Not by design it isn't. Still nobody's using the picnic benches. Still nobody's using them. Oh, also, hang on. Look, we gotta extend this too. Holy fuck, that looks great. Jeez. Does that look good or what, guys? No? You want a quick tour? Okay, we'll do a quick tour in a sec, alright? Hang on a sec. We'll do a couple more bits and pieces. We got the donut shop now, right? And we also have, um, what, Mexcelente as well. We can maybe put some stuff in here. Uh, this needs to move over ever so slightly. Hey, Sips. Hey. Did you know that you can decorate and customize the ride entrances as well? Loving you and this game loads less than three. Oh, fuck, I didn't know that. What, these here you mean? The ticket booth. You mean the ticket booth? Hunting Penfold. Thanks so much for the donation, man. I appreciate it. What? Do I have a toilet there? Yeah, yeah, we do. We have one. Look, there's toilets right here. See? There's toilets here. There's toilets here. Toilets. And there's toilets right here, baby. And an ATM. Look at all these people who have been to Jeff's Cove today. Look at all of them with their pirate hats on. Look at all these people with their pirate hats on. Why aren't they in Jeff's Cove right now? There's 1,439 people here. We've got five rides in this park and our rate- Look at our scenery rating, 300! <laughs> oh my god! Guests pretty much don't use picnic tables, it's a known bug. 
Well, we've had them use it over he over here. And here. Look, this guy just got up. This guy was using one. Guess think uh, items at Pete's refreshment shack are too expensive. Well, fuck him. Get him out of the park. Which one's Pete's refreshment shack? No, that's the hydration station. Refreshment shack. What, the scurvy repellent? Okay. I'll lower the price ever so slightly. I'm not happy about it, though. Do, 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 woo. Do, do. Okay. I'm gonna need some scenery here as well. We gotta fill up this bit here. We're gonna need a big old rock. Like, right here. Just a big random rock with some smaller rocks around it. The terrain here is gonna have to be a bit sandy. We're gonna need to have a palm tree. There's like barely any over here. Um, we're gonna need to have some bushes. We'll go with that. This guy's guarding the rock. Okay, we're still going with this theme here, guys. Still going with the red coat theme. We need some more props over here. those stationary what else do we need in here a lamp actually I think we could put the lamp like here some barrels A trap door? Definitely not a trap door. We don't need a trap door. Some munitions and stuff, though, could be kind of good. I like the munitions boxes. They're pretty neat, aren't they? Okay, good. And then we want some more rocks. Yes. Good.
I want to put this on here. <laughs> I don't want it to be like that though. I want it to be like straight up. And then I want to move it into position and then rotate it around a little. Yeah, perfect. Good. Because the red coats are here, right? This is the red coats. Do we need a guard here too? Probably don't need a guard here. I think that's like a bit overkill, no? What? We're still in pirate land. Yeah, it's meant to go on walls. I can stand up. That's fine. Who's going to notice, right? From far away, you can't tell that it's meant to go on walls. Right? Oh, fuck me. This looks weird. Did I mention how pleased I am with how this all turned out? It looks great. God, it looks good. The whole place is looking fantastic. No? Are we happy? It could do with some signs. No. The red coats are coming. The red coats are coming. This isn't a game, bitch. I need my gulpy. I'll end you. <laughs> Here, look. We'll get you a gulpy straight away. I'm so sorry. Oh, research is done. What's this? Monsieur Fritz. Nice. What's next? I think we've got all of the gift shops and places that we can get. Pinnacle of Speed, Summit and Plummet, Three Arm Classic, Magical Moments. All about airtime. Reborn to loop. Summit and Plummet. Sounds good. What? Change the music of the cracker. Is it possible to walk around? I don't think you can walk around. I don't think you can, like, follow people. Oh, you can. Holy shit. Look at this. Fucking first person mode on somebody walking around. <laughs> Holy shit, boys. that balloon out of my face youngster <laughs> look at this little one <laughs> oh shit look at that dad what a dad Fuck. oh the balloons like right in the way so wait we can just follow him around with all their balloons look at how many people are buying balloons in this park it's crazy okay I tell you what we need to find people that don't have balloons here we go. Got it. <laughs> Fucking... I'm done. See you later. I'm done. Sorry, I just had to take a phone call. 
Oh my god, they're going to Boobali. Oh no! There's a gap! Gap detected! No! Wow, look at this guy. Excuse me, excuse me coming through. <laughs> oh my god, it's so busy around there. Jesus. Why is it so fucking busy over here? Look at all these people having fun. Oh my god, look at this gap. That's close. Oh my god, the detailing around here is no way as good as the detailing that I've done over here. I feel like... I feel like my skills of detailing have gotten better since we started. Actually, the detailing over here is not too bad. So like, this part of the park is gonna be not as well detailed as like this part of the park where my detailing has gotten a little bit better. No. Ride Boobali. Again? We'll ride it at lunchtime, okay? Do we need to do a tour? For people that haven't been here the whole time? Alright, fine. Let's do a little tour, okay? There's Dumbland over here. Dumbland existed in the first place just to make money while we did detailing, okay? So we set up some rides. We had a coaster over here before. It's all temporary. We can start phasing it out probably because Psychola is going to have to go in sci-fi land. This, I don't even know where that's going to go. It's going to go somewhere, but anyway. Jeff land, food court, and shops, okay? This is going to be like the central sort of area that you come when you don't want to go to like a themed land. You're going to come here to Jeff land the food court and shops. It's very Disney-esque. Look, it, it's got like the pink paths and all the nice like siding and stuff like that. We got some toilets over here. We've got red hot eats where you can do all of your eating and stuff. And there's also some picnic tables and a staff room. There's this cool place too called Stuff. And it's got shops, which now that I look at it, I... Every time I look at it, I dislike it more and more. But anyway, so this is still a work in progress. We've got the Jeff Mahal, which is the hotel. And then we're going to add some more stuff to this after. Um, we have, like, the statue of Jeff and also a big pond with lots of bushes around it and some fences, which took forever to put down. But was worth it because it looks pretty nice. I like it. Uh, we're probably going to put some stuff in the middle later, but not now. And then... Where we've spent, I'd say, the vast majority of our time, Jeff's Cove, which is like pirate land. This is where all the people are at, okay? You come into Jeff's Cove, and... Oh, do I have to tell the story and stuff again? Alright, I'll do it. Just because I'm so committed to, to the lore of Jeff land, okay? Anyway, the pirates have landed, okay? Right by this rod, they've landed. They've made land fall here. Okay, this whole area is controlled by the Redcoats, but the pirates are invading, okay? So when you start off in, in Jeff's Cove, they've done a little mini invasion and a staging point, okay? Uh, but the Redcoats are here, and they're on guard. Look, they're looking around. They want to make sure that they're not being invaded, but it's too late. They've been invaded, and the pirates have set up camp on Pirate Trail. Look, see, there's a whole bunch of them hanging out, selling some contraband here. Alright, so this is like a nature walk. You walk up here and there's a couple of scenes set up and stuff. See, look, there's like a dude in here, chilling. There's another guy up here, chilling as well. There's not that many people on here today. Anyway, you, walk, you make your way up. Look, there's a dead guy. Oh, look, there's one guy enjoying the nature path by himself. That's good. There's some cargo and stuff in there. There's like a cannon. This guy's got a space helmet on for some reason and a pink balloon. Sure. Uh, there's some more scaffolding and scenery here. And this leads up to this vista point, okay? So you can look out at the rest of Jeff's Cove. And there's a cannon and a lookout pirate. And also in here, there's a couple of pirates sitting around by this water pool. And then there's a hatch up here so that they get to the top to so that they go to Dead Man's Tree if they want to. And so on and so forth, okay? So that's the pirate trail. It's like a scenic walk to the top of a mountain. 
All right, and then you come in here, and look, the red coats are on guard. They own this part of the island, and they're not going to be invaded by pirates. So they're marching around on guard and stuff, and they're they're trying to protect. This is all scenery, okay? That's not used by anything. There's the boardwalk here with all the lanterns and stuff. And then there's like a pirate lookout here for the staging point, and watch out, a tentacle attacking a bunch of boats in here too with seaweed all around too which looks great i think okay uh over here we have uh, a custom ride that we made called dubali let me save my game because my game just like temporarily froze again as well and i'm worried that we're gonna lose progress okay so bubali is a, a scenic water ride okay and this is the exit to Boobily. Look, there's some scenes in here too. Look, there's like a pirate and some scaffolding and some shit in here. And then you come in here and look, the red coats are trying to keep control of this mine. Okay, this is Pete's mine. And there's a cool hand holding a skull here too. Look at the queue for this place. Holy crap. Hey, some people are using the priority line. Fantastic. Okay, anyway. So this is Boobily. We're not riding Boobily. We'll ride it at lunchtime, okay? Actually, we kind of need to ride it to tell the story. Okay, instead of riding it, let's just go through like this, okay? So this is where, this is the exit for Boobily, okay? You get off down here and you make your way through this cave. It takes you back down there and it's kind of cool and stuff. All right, Pete's mine sets the scene for the battle of Pete's mine. See, the, the pirates in the red coats are fighting music in the background as well very nice okay and there's a dead guy hanging there and also Pete's treasure is in the mine too all right and then you make your way through and you think to yourself hang on the red coats got this in the bag look at all these dead pirates strunk fuck me that looks great from over here holy shit balls that looks fucking fantastic wow okay anyway carrying on with the ride but then you're wrong because look the pirates have won. There's a, they captured a red coat and they're interrogating him. They got all their contraband in here as well. And they're just chilling because they've won. And then you go up this ramp thing here, which I'm having trouble navigating. And you can clearly see... Oh shit, the pirates have won. Look, they're manufacturing cannons and they're just chilling out now. In this, like, mine scene. And then you make your way through here. And then you get around here and you see this beautiful waterfall, which looks kind of nice from here too. And then you realize, hang on a second. Who cares about the red coats and the pirates? There's a fucking Kraken attacking a ship down here. And then you realize that you don't care about petty squabbles. There's a common enemy that everybody needs to fight together, okay? And then you sort of make your way over here. There's some pirate band playing and then watch out. There's a gigantic dip and that's the end of Boobali, all right? Anyway, I did a whole bunch of like snazzying up of like the mountain and stuff. We got the waterfall here. Look, there's like some dudes down here fighting the Kraken. There's a boat. This guy's on lookout, even though everybody knows what's there. There's a cave in here and stuff too. A whole bunch of trees and some busted up boats and stuff. There's a little pirate fortress up here. Kind of nice. And then you make your way down here after all is said and done. And you can Sips, walk down here. You're yeah. missing out on a potential stream of revenue from your guests. Oh, am I? You can put a concession stand that sells textbooks to the park guests so they can get up to speed on the law. Based on college textbook prices, you can probably sell for 200 each. That's fantastic. Okay, Timmy Bananas, I'll look into that anyway. There's like a little pirate staging cave here. And then you make your way over to Civilization, which is currently controlled by the Red Coats, okay? And this is where people are going to be doing all their... Ah! Look! They were using it! Okay, good. This is where people are going to do all of their shitting shopping and slurping and getting some coffee and stuff too the red coats have a huge presence here okay the pirates have not invaded but we're gonna we're planning 
a pirate battle in the streets here for the ATM machine, but we haven't gotten to that yet. We're going to do it soon. Um, and then, when you're all done doing some shitting, shopping, slurping, and drinking coffee, you can make your way over here to the last boss, the Kraken's Lair. That's right. A very popular ride. It's the newest ride. There's the Kraken. Look. You get onto his ride, and you can see his treasure. And there's bubbles and confetti and lights everywhere. And the whole thing is aimed at causing people to have seizures. And then pay for medical facilities too. A secret cave behind the waterfall. Oh, there's no secret cave behind the waterfall. No. But if you do download the map off the Steam Workshop, there's a secret cave in here with the golden treasure chest, okay? It's hidden away. Don't tell anyone else, okay? So that's where we're up to so far. We're, um, we've sort of done the detailing and stuff for this uh, waterfront, except for this area here needs some work. And then we've got to continue doing some detailing on here to separate out Jeff's Cove from the rest of Jeff Land. And then uh, we got to do some detailing in here inside fix up some of this stuff. There's this cool pirate statue which needs to be lit up. And then we have some more shops and stuff that we can add to here so that people can eat and do stuff as well. Good. Put down a vista point. We have two so far. We have a vista point here, the dock, so that you can watch the Kraken battle. And then there's a vista point uh, up here too, at the top of here. So people can come up and have a look. Yeah? A pirate mascot. We've got one. There's a pirate mascot walking around. He's right here. Look. It's Madogum. There. Madogum is the pirate mascot. Look, he's walking around. He's scaring all the kids. Shooting his bubble gun at people. Look at these people are like, Fuck me! No! Not a pirate! He's got an iron, iron jaw. Which is kind of cool too, right? Fix the yellow wall of the church. Fix the yellow wall of the church. What's wrong with it? Oh, I see. It's like lapping into here. All right. We might not even have this church here. We might just move it. Or we might move this building. I'm not sure. This, this part's not done yet. We're still working on it. Anyway, so that's where we're up to. That's where we got up to. Uh, everything that's sort of detailed is staying. I don't, I don't plan on moving any of this stuff once it's in. We're just sort of organically chopping and changing stuff as we need to. Um, and it's and it's working out okay. I think, I think it's looking great. I think it's looking really good. I'm really pleased with it. It's taken a long time to do all this. Question for you, when are you getting the swinging ship ride? I don't know, I'm, st I'm still researching rides, so as soon as we can get it, we can add it to, uh, to Jeff's Cove, yeah? Yeah? Needs more coasters, preferably custom ones. Well, we'll do some coasters. They take a long time to... Wow, look at the... Look, you can see the lights coming out of the little holes. That's fucking great. Look at this. It's actually it's coming out of the whole thing. Oh my god. Kraken's Lair is great, isn't it, no? How about the red coaster? Above the Kraken-themed roller coaster. Okay. Planet coaster park has no coasters well I mean this is sort of like a kind of a coaster but it's not really it's not really a coaster is it okay anyway let me get back to doing my thing I'm gonna get back to detailing this area here we'll leave like a bit of grass I think we want a little bit of grass but not too much Do, 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 do. Oh, man. Look. See, already that looks much better, doesn't it? No? Just me? Possibly? Nobody thinks so? Look at this Planet Coaster Holiday Bin. I've never seen this before. This is the West Ock. 
Wild West Land is going to be pretty cool too, isn't it? Do 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 do. I think we need to have some um, oh, the Western Rustic Bench as well. One of my favorites. How come the um, Pirate Park Bench isn't here? Oh, it's a picnic bench. That's why. I see it's a picnic bench. Okay, we need to make places for people to sit down and stuff too. Especially dads. We're, d we're definitely thinking about dads a lot in this park. And trying to make things more bearable for them. Dads have a tough time of it, right? They have to wait while people do things that they don't want to do. So they're constantly waiting outside bathrooms. Constantly waiting outside gift shops. Constantly standing in lines at food places. This is the life of a dad, right? No, just add a tavern and dads will be happy. Yeah, we could add a tavern. We could definitely do with adding a tavern. That would be really nice. Okay. In here, I would like to have a pirate-themed... Hang on, where is it? Fruity Cargo. Okay, we're going to put this Fruity Cargo for sale here, too. It's going to be like a... We can make this like a mini market or something. Okay. And selling this stuff. We need like just some... Some pirate... People who don't look like pirates. Maybe maybe we can find them like hang on. Animatronics. Maybe there's three like, ideas throwing for Sips Arena. One is shot. zip line ride from atop of the mountain called Ship Abordage. Wow. Second is a beach with cocktail. On the last remaining untouched side of the large lake and third custom coaster ride that goes under there. Okay, maybe we can just have... She's idle, but look, we can have her just, like, standing here. Maybe move her up a little bit. Okay. Look. Hey, thanks, just throwing idea, man. <laughs> Zip line from a top of the mountain called Ship Abordage. Second is a beach with cocktail on the last remaining untouched side of the large lake and third custom coaster ride that goes under the lake. I don't know if any of that's actually possible. I don't know if a zip line is possible. I don't know if going under the lake is possible. And you know what? It sounds crazy, but cocktails on the beach the beach would have to be sloped it'd be impossible to put stuff on there so it's a big no to everything unfortunately i feel so bad about it but that's just the way it is okay i need a sign i need some sort of sign here i need a stand-up sign that doesn't look stupid and out of place because we're in civilization now, and the, you, the, there's red coats, yeah, but there's got to be civilians too, right? She kind of looks like a peasant from, like, the time, right? <laughs> she kind of looks a bit like a peasant, doesn't she? So it's probably fine. Okay, let's see. Hang on a second. I might need to have, like, a sign. What's this? A commercial shop sign. It says Planet Coaster on it. No thanks. What about a screen? Oh, my God. We got some problems here too. Look at this. Has that fucked up the toilets now? No, it's fine. Okay. God damn, that was close. That was close. Okay, I want a sign that says. I might have to do it in building signs. Wall signs? Decorations? Doorways. All. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the fairy tale scroll effect. That's pretty neat. What about this gigantic sign here as well? 
we could put a big saw in. <laughs> that is so big. Jesus. That's way too big, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, that's great. There. Fruit for sale. Excellent. We need a cash register now, too. And maybe a screen mounting pole. Okay, and then on the screen, we're going to have a movie of people. Ten second pirate battle. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, my God. It's not even on the pole. God, I'm getting rid of this. <laughs> okay. I'm getting rid of it. I've, I've gotten rid of it. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. I know. I know. Your immersion is ruined. You know what? So is mine. That feels terrible. It feels terrible when you have your immersion ruined like that. Mine is definitely wrecked. Mine's completely been obliterated. It's gone. Do 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 Okay, good. So she's selling fruit. Good for her, I say. Good for her. We need some lights in here. Lights, camera, action, okay. How's that gonna look at night? This can all be lit up, because this is like civilization, right? Let's see what this looks like at night. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Fucking, I got a lot of time for that. I think that looks really good. See this oil lamp? Oil lamp looks pretty good too, doesn't it? Yeah. Fruits for sale, baby. How's this guy doing over here? He's doing good. Nice. Okay, perfect. Good. It looks good. Alright. Let me put a bush in here or something too, just to fill it up a little bit. Oh, hang on a second. Actually, we could do this instead. 